Hello everybody and welcome back to Warplan, where we are playing as the Axis. Ah, so we finished off the last turn, we have a very, very good looking front up here. We have gotten uh, multiple Soviet armies uh, and tank corps completely separated from uh, the Soviet supply. So they are encircled, we're hoping to reduce them down over the next couple of turns. And then with that we will have the ability to use all these spare troops in pushing on Leningrad and uh, kind of into the Soviet backfield, which will get them to kind of lessen either either give us uh, free reign here or they'll lessen their forces down south, which will give us the ability of counterattacking down south. Just kind of making them shift. I, I want to make the tempo of the battle my own, not theirs. Uh, but there are quite a few victory point cities uh, here, as well as Moscow, which is an intriguing proposition because there's not a lot between us and Moscow from, if you look from at the north, like, uh, this is, uh, like, Vibisk is still kind of their linchpin, like, this is their, the area where they're kind of pivoting from, but, uh, it's pretty open now, like, they've pulled back quite a few forces, uh, so we'll see how that works, but we did finish off, so we'll go ahead and end the turn and see what happens with this encirclement. I'm hoping that they don't open it back up, but I don't think they will, I don't think they'll have the ability to, we'll see. And they could heavily reinforce the north. I would prefer them to wait a turn or two so we could reduce some of the units in the north, but we'll see. Alright. Okay, I'm not seeing any major counterattacks right now. In fact, I'm seeing them just reforming a line. That's it. So they did not try and break out of the encirclement. Okay. Okay, that's... That's interesting. They did go up here, so they have kind of shifted things around, but they are still cut off. They are still cut off. We're just going to shift as well. Making them even harder... Making it even harder for them to get out. Okay, we'll also hit you up there. Uh... Oh, let's make sure we knock out this army. Uh, for some reason, I can't attack them. It does seem to be a glitch sometimes where it doesn't really... The attacking doesn't really work. Like, it's it says they're in friendly territory. Oh, well. But supplies are starting to get up here, which is good. We are starting to see some good indications here. Let's go ahead and just attack. They surrender. That's good. Okay. Didn't get them to surrender, but that's still good. So we just need to keep hitting them and uh, reducing this pocket. Uh, let's also just start moving our troops out from there. So the objective is to just kind of sweep north, knock out what's up north here, and then uh, re uh, connect with the Finns, and then use all this force to kind of swing down. Let's, uh, let's also strike this unit again with some trucks to give us a chance. Let's also just see here. I want to go ahead and have the uh, Hungarians. Can they build some supply trucks? Romanians build some supply trucks. Spanish build some supply trucks. 
That's about it. Okay. It's not bad. All right, let's uh, let's actually pull you off the line, put you in the line, get you a supply truck, and then let's attack. Try and knock them off of the damn line. We're getting so close. Hold on. I forgot to bomb them. That's good. Back up in strength. Let's get this motorized unit up north where they're needed. And let's do one more attack. Yes! Over the line there, okay. They no longer have a riverfront line. So that's good, except for right there. Right there. We can deal with that. Let's continue bombing them at Rostov. Let's look to supplying these troops for an attack. Oh, let's also make sure the Italians can get some supply trucks because they're going to need it. Okay, there we go. And then let's just attack. Let's see what we get. Nothing. Just nothing. But they have pulled back a bit here, so let's kind of extend the line a little bit. See how they respond to that. Okay. Not bad, not bad. We do have to remember to continue to unload our various aircraft that were on a station. We do have some naval bombing we can do. Okay. And there, I want to naval bomb and get rid of all the naval bombers. All right. In Germany, let's go ahead and just get another large core. Let's get an anti tank one. All right. It does look like it's going to be the end of the turn, because I don't see much else we can do. And not much else we can do. We just got to continue reducing this pocket and then uh, possibly get rid of this unit. Well, hold on. Let's give them an avenue to pull back, and then we can re-encircle them. Uh, let's see if they get off of our territory. Uh, but either way, we can knock them out. Uh, first shock army. And then, uh, yeah. Hopefully... We'll start seeing some decent progress in the north afterwards. Well, let's end the turn, see what happens. Alright, they did pull out of our friendly territory there, so that's good. So we can re we can re-encircle them really easily. Looks like the south is pretty quiet now. Another generic, or another synthetic fuel plant comes on. Generic fuel. <laughs> generic German fuel. Um, half the price of name brand. Okay. Go ahead and keep falling back with them, but the Finns are now back up here. Let's make sure they are elite. <sighs> Alright. Let's hit this unit. They surrender. You up. Have all of you attack him. Have you fall back. You get up there. 
Come over there. Alright. Got rid of that unit. Next time we can hit Leningrad with a full force. Let's see, can we do one more attack? Alright, nothing big there. Okay. Let's just hit them. They retreat. That's good. We're gonna just kind of strike out north here, see if we can encircle these guards' armies as well. We do have two armored units uh, up here that we can use for that to try and get up here. Uh, we also have a Falschmager unit that's ready. Let's put them in Warsaw. And a core that's ready. Oh, and uh, my Italian core is also good to go. Yeah, everybody's building supply trucks. That's good. That is very good. Okay, so now, bomb this unit, just keep bombing Rostov, we might even shift down our close air support that's currently uh, located on the Ukrainian kind of central front, yeah, you know, we're gonna do that, we're gonna, we're gonna shift them over so that they're gonna be useful for bombing Rostov and weakening their defenses. Try and knock them out. And that'll give uh, the uh, that'll give both uh, forces or that'll give the that'll give the German forces and the Italian forces enough time to regain their assault value and then push out. Uh hmm. Don't really want to do anything around here anymore. Supply situation is going very well here. Push forward a bit there. Push you over here and you over there. Could even shift a couple of Italian infantry corps over here and try to get an encirclement up this rail line. See what happens. Because they're a bit light over here. Heavy here, heavy here, l kind of medium here, light here, almost non existent here anymore. So we'll see how that goes. Uh. So we've done that. Oh, we do have bombing down here we have to do. I think I missed that last turn. Let's just hit him. Let's get this unit over to Halifax. Get you out there. Continue bombing these ships. Okay. There we go. We're getting some air power over here into the Americas, which will help knock out this, uh, this naval force and hopefully this naval force as well. That would be nice. And yeah, we are starting to gain our uh, victory points again. That's good. Okay, well, let's end the turn. See what the Soviets do. Alright. Attacking an Italian unit that's pretty well dug in. They took some heavy casualties there. Attacking that Hungarian unit. Or is that Hungarian? Ah, I forget the I forget if it's Hungarian. So they've regained a foothold on the riverfront. Uh 
All right. Close support is at maximum advancements. Character oper uh, operations have been increased by one. So close support's at max. Let's go to advancements. Close support is at 45. Yep. So we have a couple more advancements ready. Let's go ahead and get assault up. Breakthrough up quite a bit. And we'll get those two up just so we can get a bit more going. Then let's try and knock out this armored unit. Okay, they surrender. All right. Just need to continue heading out. Supply. Let's get some heavy artillery here. Supply. All right. Need to try and knock out the defenders of Leningrad. Supplies are starting to flow up. That's good. Uh, let's make them think we're going to surround them. Race out ahead of everything with that unit. Now the Finns actually do have a, uh, a bit of supply, so that's good. All right, there. Now what are we gonna do? Let's have you fall back. You go there. Give our boys some supply trucks to make this assault worthwhile here. And try and get rid of this army. Yes. All right. It's definitely going to make them pull back or heavily counter attack us, which will make their that which mm, it's still good for us i'm, I'm thinking because even uh, the these guys would fall back and then they'd have to take up a position which might make them not as dug in in some of these areas which is good and we're getting closer to moscow which is also very good let's go ahead and hit uh, rostov we can't because of weather okay weather is the defining factor there Keep shifting these forces over. All right. Let's have you get on a rail line. Up north, that is our... That is the front with the most potential right now, is the northern front. Yeah. Yeah. Up north here. It's two more two more cores that we got up there. We're attacking Leningrad, so those will be that'll be something that'll be finished soon. One army and core left in this pocket, and then once they're gone, we've got a pretty much open route into the the well, I guess we were already in the heart of the Soviet Union, but kind of in their backfield here. Which, uh, we'll see how that, uh, how they respond to that, how that affects them. But let's go ahead and end the turn, uh, because I don't think there's much else we can do. No, we can move these guys, so let's, uh, let's get you over there. Okay, last airplane out. It's good. We can't bomb because of the weather. All right, also what I want to do is support. Let's go ahead and get some airfields going. Some airfields. Some more supply trucks. And one large core. All 
Okay. I think that's good. Let's, uh, whew. let's end the turn. See what happens. What are the Soviets going to do? Are they going to abandon Ukraine? Or are they going to keep holding that line? Well, they're falling back in the north pretty heavily. Okay, close air support at maxima, or close support at maximum, okay. Assault advancement to five, shipyards available, pool. Pretty sure we took all of close support off. We did, so that's at full. Um, hmm. So yeah, that's good. All right, let's see here. Oh yeah, they're pulling back hard. Alright, let's just make sure we get these guys kind of off of the line. Okay. up there. Okay. So these guys are kind of, I mean, they're technically surrounded, but, uh, and encircled, but, uh, not really. Just kind of waiting. Uh, there, let's Let's give ourselves some supply trucks here. Try and knock out this damn city's defenses. Right, we did some damage to them. Uh, let's hit this army. Come on. That didn't work. Alright, they're still holding up there, but hopefully we can keep pushing them, we can keep hitting them, and, uh, I mean, we reduced them down quite a bit, so hopefully that, uh, that helps. Okay, supplies are starting to get out that way, that's good, that's good. Can we bomb Rostov? We cannot. Okay. That still sucks. Let's just keep shifting over the Italians here. Okay. Damage to the rail line probably happened there. That's why we're dealing with that. Can we bomb them? Still cannot bomb them here. Back to you over there. Damn heavy rain. Well, once April's over, we'll be a bit more open with that. Okay. Well, let's end the turn. Let's see what happens, because there's not much else for us to do here. We're making a lot of headway in the north, though. A lot of headway in the north. Hopefully we can keep pushing and either make them abandon their... I mean, they are starting to abandon some of their positions. That's actually something I need to look into. Uh, 
Let's look into trying to maybe encircle this line here. I mean, if they keep pulling back along this axis, we can kind of separate the line, swing down, and kind of close it. Uh, see if that works. But let's uh, let's go ahead and actually, looking at the time, we we'll have to end the episode here before we go any further. Uh, we are just going to move some of our planes up a bit more. Uh, but yeah, let's end the episode here because we're at time. So thank you for joining me for this episode. If you liked it, please leave a comment down below. Hit that like button. If you want to support the channel, consider the subscribe button down below. So let's take a look at the description down below where I have links to my Discord and my Patreon page. But I'll see all of you in the next episode. Bye.